So every once in a while we get asked to put uh, vector logos on a white background. And this canvas right here in the back, even though it appears to be white, when you save it, it saves on a transparent background. So sometimes when you save it and you open it up in your browser, you'll see that it's gray or even black depending on the type of image browser you use. For example, I'm using a Mac and when I open up the image browser, it looks gray in the background. Um, and that's just because of this actual previewer, this image browser previewer is what we would call it. And, and it shows gray, so it's hard to have it transparent because then it would see through all, everything else. So the, the manufacturers of the software, for example, Microsoft or Apple, have to choose a color, and in this case, they chose gray. But if you took this, this actual PNG and put it on your website, and the background was purple or green, then it would, all this gray would show at purple because all this is transparent right here. So if you want like a white background in back of this, all you have to do is just make a block. So I will just do a block like this and I would cover it up. It's just a white block and I could just put it over like that and you don't see anything. Then you go and you send it to back just like this and you could send it to, it depends on how many layers you have, but it looks like only one type of layer and that's to the back. And then once you save that, then you will see the white background. So as you can see, I have the one with the white background and the one with the transparent background that allegedly looks gray, but it's really not gray. It's actually transparent right there. And that's how you could see it right there. Uh, if you had Adobe Photoshop, you would see something a little differently. The white background would look like this and the transparent background would have this like checkered thing right here as well. And if you had Adobe Photoshop, you could actually put any type of color. If I wanted to put a red back there, I would just make a new uh, a layer. And then I would just put uh, that red background just like that. And you could put this in back of anything if you had a professional Photoshop and stuff like that. But that's why we made this. So you don't have to do all that. And you could even make this different color to that background or that block that we put on there. Hope this video helps. Uh, and uh, continue making really cool logos. We love to watch you guys make these awesome logos with the Logo Maker.